I built this musician's mansion in Del Sol Valley on that big 64 by 64 lot. This is for a famous musician in my save file named Wolfgang. He's actually a grown up version of Wolfgang Munch from the Get Together expansion pack, except now he just goes by Wolfgang like Madonna or Cher or Zendaya. And as I said, he's a famous musician. He's a five star celebrity. He's mastered the musician career and he knows how to play every instrument in the game and he's actually mastered most of the instruments, but not all of them. He's still working on the DJ booth and his singing skill. He is super rich and he loves living in the lap of luxury. And so for his mansion, I wanted everything to be in excess. He has a private plane and an RV and a limo and a collection of cars. He's not really interested in getting married or having kids, though he does have an adult son that does not live with him. He's also really vain, so vain in fact that he started looking for ways to preserve his youth. He was a spellcaster for a little while, his ex and their son are spellcasters, but brewing and drinking a potion of youth every time he wanted to reset his current life stage was just too much work, when what he really wanted was to stop the aging process altogether. So he renounced being a spellcaster and decided to try being a werewolf instead. And he did his research and he committed to it and he leveled all the way up to an alpha rank. And he unlocked the immortal wolf trait, which makes him stop aging altogether. And now that he's reached that rank, he doesn't really associate with any other werewolves. Though to be fair, he never really did to begin with. He was never a part of any werewolf packs or anything. But now that he's unlocked that perk, he doesn't really engage in werewolf culture or anything. He kind of ignores that side of himself. And that's why he chose to be a werewolf instead of choosing to be a vampire. In his pursuit for immortality, he considered becoming a vampire, but ultimately decided against it. The idea of not being able to go outside during the day and having to drink from other sims to sustain himself all seemed like too much work. Whereas when you're a werewolf, you have to deal with fury, but that becomes easier to manage as you rank up. And now we're getting started on the interior of the house. In particular, the stairwell right at the main entrance. I really wanted this stairwell to be a big two-story statement, so I had to figure out what that was going to look like before I went any farther with the exterior. As for the style of this mansion, everything is going to be modern and white and pristine, but also probably under-decorated. Because that's how some rich people are. They'll buy a house worth millions of dollars, and there won't be a drop of color on those walls. And I know that the Kardashians just popped into your head when I said that. It's okay. Someone has to be the stereotype, right? And today it's Wolfgang, Master musician allergic to color. I built this on stream and while I was building it occasionally someone in the chat would say something to the effect of why don't you use an accent color in here to which my response would be to add something black. I used black as an accent color. And it's not because of my lack of taste, it's because of Wolfgang's lack of taste. At least he has good taste in music. So if you notice a random black rug or black painting in this build, it's because someone told me to put an accent color in and I felt like being petty. And here I'm trying to figure out how to cover up this weird lighting glitch, but I kind of admit defeat for the moment and move on to decorating instead. And then we move on to figuring out what the floor plan is going to start looking like. The floor plan does change a lot during the course of this build. I kind of went into this thinking there was going to be more bedrooms than there ended up being, but by sacrificing bedrooms I ended up with a gym and a sauna and a rec room and a recording studio which you'll see when we get there. It's beautiful. You'll love it. The private plane, the recording studio, the limousine, the fountains. If your sim wants to be Taylor Swift, this is where they want to live. And now that we've got the shape of the build figured out, it's time to start figuring out what color everything is going to be. Who am I kidding? Of course, everything is going to be white, but what kind of white? Is it going to be white marble or white concrete or white slabs? I think we end up with the white marble on the interior and the white concrete slabs on the exterior. And in the garage, I think we actually do end up with a darker color on the floors and on the walls. 
and I figured right in the middle of the build here is a great place for the dining room. And here's where I settle on using the wallpaper and the ceiling tiles from the Modern Lux kit throughout the interior of this build. And I know we're moving really fast right now, but as we continue building, you'll see more of it. And I really do feel like it was the right choice for this build. And these stairs that I'm messing with right now are the only stairs that go up to the third floor. You gotta go outside to get to the third floor, but the only things on the third floor are a guest room and the recreation room. Though at this point, during the build, I was thinking it was going to be two guest rooms up there. I didn't decide to put a recreation room up there until later. And now I'm plotting out some of the different doors throughout the build and assigning all of the different rooms, trying to figure out how Sims are going to navigate through this mansion. And of course, Wolfgang, master musician, would absolutely have a grand piano in the main entryway. Why wouldn't he? This is a gorgeous place to have a piano. I tried some different rugs and this gold trim in here and some fancy couches, but I don't end up using a lot of it. I end up going with a more minimalistic look. And by the way, you might see me going into first person mode a lot. And I get comments on my live streams all the time asking me how I do that. If you're playing with a keyboard and mouse, just hit tab on your keyboard and then you can walk around with WASD and use the mouse to look around. And I don't play on console, but according to Sims community, Community.info. You can hold the R3 button on PlayStation or the right stick button on Xbox to get to the same first person view. And here is the kitchen and it is big. So big in fact that I worked on it for a little bit and then walked away from it and worked on the rest of the house and then came back to it later. And so this is just round one with the kitchen. We use this large stove from Dine Out. We have a nice double fridge moment, a nice double dishwasher. And I end up using the counters and cabinets from Home Chef Hustle. And then I wanted to put a chilled wine room in this kitchen. And my chat wanted me to put a pantry in this kitchen. So we did both. And even after all of that, I still end up with some empty space in the corner of the kitchen. I end up putting an accent color there. And if you were paying attention earlier, you know what that means. But I haven't even done that corner that I'm talking about yet. Here's the pantry and the chilled wine room. I don't finish the pantry now. We finish that later. And I actually put a thermostat inside the wine room just for the realism of it. In reality, you can use multiple thermostats in a build and they all synchronize with each other. That's how it works in gameplay. But like I said, I like the realism of that room having its own thermostat. And you all know I love little details like that. And then here is that awkward corner that I didn't know what to do with. So like I said, I end up putting an accent color there. It ends up being kind of a little wine tasting nook. It's fine. This kitchen is huge. And oh yeah, I put a bar here in the island because why not? But at this point, I'm basically ready to give up on this room and come back to it later. We're about to switch gears to the exterior because I'm not done with the exterior yet at this point. And also that's just kind of the way I work. I tend to jump back and forth between the interior and the exterior. And when we finally do get outside, come on video, there we go. I wanted to really look at what this build looks like from the sky. So a lot of the things I do here are to make the build look more impressive as you're flying in on a plane. You know, for when Wolfgang brings a date home. And I put this grass on the roof that is a perfect match for the grass in the environment. It's like he's trying to give the illusion that he's reducing his carbon footprint by having a grass roof on his house while simultaneously having a private plane and a swimming pool built specifically to be its landing pad. And I finally figured out the window situation here. Until now, I had only figured out how I wanted the windows to be on the back of the build. And now I finally figured out how I want them to be on the front of the build. And this shark pond here gets moved around a lot. I try it in like three or four different places before I finally figure out where its home is going to be. And then I put up some fences because you got to think about security. Five star celebrity, world class musician, rich, influential. Wolfgang needs to limit people's access to him, especially since he has that celebrity quirk where he doesn't like to be touched. Also, did I mention that this version of Wolfgang is a vegetarian? When he aged up to a young adult, that was the trait that the game gave him. Like I said, he comes with get together, but he's a teen and teens only have two traits. But this version of him is an adult. I don't even think he's a young adult anymore. I think he's a full blown adult. Granted, he's immortal, but nonetheless, he has a third trait now. And that third trait is vegetarian. 
So he's a vegetarian werewolf, which is honestly hilarious. And then here is the final home for the shark pond here. It doesn't move after I put it here. And I put the trash bins out here too. And there's actually a door in that little area where the RV is tucked away. There's a door to the garage in there. So that's the path they use to take out the trash. And here we've got a little yoga area and I wanted it to be more private. So I played around with the shrubs and I end up putting some fountains around those shrubs too, just to kind of box this in a little more and make it a little more private. Well, as private as it can be when it's literally in the front yard. But nonetheless, they should be safe from the paparazzi while doing yoga. And yep, there's the fountains. And I tried a few different kinds and I actually had to go into live mode to see which one I liked the best. And I think it was the large dancing fountain. I don't remember what it was called, but it was this one. And I'm pretty much done with the exterior now. I'm just doing some finishing touches before I really move on and commit to doing the interior. We're just finishing off the outside with some terrain paint, and then we're going to move to the inside and start working on the garage. And despite the fact that I did the whole house in white, I actually decided to do the garage in black. It just felt more appropriate for a garage. And then I sized up these stone circles from the get together pack. I'm imagining these are rotating displays for these cars. And of course, I needed a nice big tool area in this garage as well. And I also used these little floor lights to kind of sell the illusion of these rotating car displays. Again, they don't actually rotate. We're just trying to sell the illusion here. And now that we're finishing up with the garage, we're going to move on to the recording studio, which is probably my favorite room in the house. I put at least one of of every type of instrument that's in the game in here, as well as the music production station and the vlogging station from Get Famous and a DJ booth and a microphone. And the microphone is actually in its own enclosed vocal booth. There's some other random audio equipment in here, but surprisingly not a computer. There's a computer in the master bedroom and another one in the butler's room, but there's not one in the recording studio, which in real life would be weird, but in The Sims, it makes sense. They don't actually need that. I I also thought it would be funny to put a bubble blower in the recording studio. Maybe Wolfgang was doing a collaboration with Snoop Dogg. Oh, and there's a mini fridge in here too, because of course there is. You need your snacks when you're in the studio during all hours of the night, blowing on your bubble blower and making hit records. And these guitar amps are actually radios and they came with the Moschino stuff pack. And then here's that vocal booth that I was talking about. And all I put in here was a microphone and a book and a stool. And you also probably noticed that I put carpet down in this room and I put these soundproof panels on the walls. The studio is a stark contrast to the rest of the house, which is just all white. And yeah, part of the reason that this room is carpeted is because of soundproofing and audio engineering. But this is also the room that Wolfgang spends most of his time in. So he's actually invested in decorating this room, whereas the rest of the house, not so much. And while I'm working on this half bathroom here, one thing that you might notice is that I use the talking toilet in every bathroom on this build, but it's the best toilet in the game. And also Wolfgang gets lonely here. He lives alone with his cat and a butler. Oh, and did I mention that the cat is a ghost? Yeah, the cat died before his now young adult son was even born. And now we're getting started with the library, which is where I have this T-Rex skull. This skull is like the centerpiece of the room. And there's a whole story behind it with my Twitch chat. And we're not gonna get into it right now, but that room with the T-Rex skull in it ends up being a library with a whole bunch of books in it. Oh, and that record player, that ends up in there too. And it was kind of like the more I tried to do this TV room, living room area, the more I kept finding objects that I wanted to put in this library instead. So I just went with it and dove into the library. I used the books from the book nook kit and I put a fireplace in here. And I also used like a reverse platform. What I did was I built a room around the T-Rex skull. And then instead of hitting the up arrow to create a platform, I hit the down arrow to create a kind of cutout in the floor. 
I've used this method in the past to build conversation pits. And then I put some pillars in here and some seating and some art. And I'm sorry, I know I keep going into first person mode here. I'm just trying to make sure I have all of the details right. And once I'm happy with it, we move on to the dining room. And I kind of got a head start on the dining room already. I had already picked out the dining table and the light fixture, but I wanted a rug for the dining room and also a hutch. And I tried several of the different china cabinets and hutches that are in the game, but I end up kind of actually making my own built-in out of modular pieces and a really big mirror. And by the way, for anyone wondering, the really long dining table is actually just two dining tables next to each other. I never actually said that, so if you were wondering, you're welcome. And here we go, this is where I actually start making my built-in with the modular pieces that I was talking about. I think they're the cabinets from Dream Home Decorator, maybe? And that mirror is from the base game. And I really like how this turned out. It looks a lot more unique than any of the hutches or china cabinets that are in the game. There's nothing wrong with those, but I've seen them all a million times, and this feels fresh and new. And then when I got back to the TV room, someone in my chat reminded me that rich people don't put the back of their couch against the wall. So I reconfigured this room. There's still a lot of open space in here, but it does the job. Admittedly, this isn't my favorite room, but Wolfgang isn't a very good decorator anyway, so it's fine. It's just a TV room, though I do put a cat tree and a fish tank in here. Speaking of the cat, I do scatter cat things throughout this house. There's cat beds in the TV room, in the studio, in the master suite, a few scattered cat trees, some litter boxes, food bowls, everything a cat can need. And then I finally muster up the courage to go back into the kitchen and finish up the first floor. I get started in the pantry where I put as much kitchen clutter as I could possibly find on these shelves. And I also end up putting a sink in here and a coffee machine. And I considered putting the laundry machines in the pantry too, but I actually end up putting those on the second floor. And instead down here in the pantry, I just focus on kitchen stuff. And also, it looks like there's some extra toilet roll stored in here, okay? It's fine. What? It's not used. It's the clean stuff. And then I put down a couple of those slip resistant mats and I don't want to put too much clutter in the kitchen itself or really any clutter. That's kind of the point of the pantry. But I did put some finishing touches out here like the dishwashers and the light switches. And I wish we had power outlets. Y you know what I think though? I think we're gonna get power outlets when we get a bands pack. I don't know why, but it just kind of feels to me like if they were to release a bands pack, that would be a great time to put power outlets in the game. And of course they're just gonna be decoration, like the light switches are decoration. And I know people are going to say that there's custom content, I know, but when I use custom content, people can't really download it from the gallery. Oh, by the way, we're in the master suite right now, working on the master bathroom. Built-in shower, corner tub, double vanity, talking toilet, and super spacious. And since I'm putting a laundry room in this house, I put a hamper in this bathroom. And then next I did the master closet. Closet. This is probably the biggest closet that I've ever built in The Sims. And a shoe collection, and a watch collection, and of course clothes, and mirrors, and a chandelier, and wall sconces. This closet would make Regina George jealous. It's a closet right out of MTV Cribs. And since it's so big, of course it did take me a little while to decorate. Oh, and I put this box of shoes that looks like it had just been opened on the island. I thought that was a nice touch. And it's actually a pair of shoes that he has in cast on one of his outfits. Not his everyday outfit, I think it's his active wear, but yeah, it's the same pair of shoes, I think. I don't know. Now I'm second guessing myself. I think that's what I did. At least that's what I should have done. You know what? The canon story that we're going with is that's what I did. And now we've moved on to the master bedroom, which is admittedly huge. So I try to make things take up more space than they necessarily need to. Like the bed, for example, where instead of just using a canopy bed, I built a platform and built a canopy around that. And I know it looks very weird right now. It's very much a trust the process thing. It does come together. 
and it looks really cool when it's all done and it helps fill out the space. Of course, I had to move around the windows and figure out what I was going to do there, but I figured it out, it came together. And also these blinds that I have on the windows here came with the My First Pet Stuff pack and I hate that they came with the My First Pet Stuff pack because I really like them and I wanna hate the My First Pet Stuff pack so bad, but it was just recently free. And so a lot of people got it for free and you can't really complain about free content. However, I was not one of those people that got it for free, I bought it. But to be fair, I think I got it on sale or maybe it was from one of those third party reseller websites, but it's not free anymore. So if you didn't get it while it was free, I'm sorry, you missed your chance. I don't know what to tell you. And we're now like 20 minutes into the video. We still have several more to go, but this is probably one of my longest video narrations. Normally I like to keep my narrated videos under 10 minutes so they can go on TikTok, but there was just no chance of that happening with this one. This build is just too big. And whenever I speed up the footage any faster than what I have it right now, people often complain that it's too fast. So we're doing a longer form video, but that means I have to narrate a longer form video. And I'm not trying to complain, but I just want you to know that it's a lot of work. And I hope you appreciate it by liking this video and hitting subscribe. If you're this far into the video and you're not already subscribed, you probably should be. Also, if I can just kind of self promo for a moment, if that would be okay, I just want you to know that I am now on Patreon and my patrons get one day early access to all of my videos. And they also get to put one of their Sims into my downloadable save file. Of course, with full credit, this is to thank and recognize my Patreon members. So if any of that is of interest to you, check out my Patreon, link in bio. Oh, and here the roof above the entryway is finally taking its final form. I used to have a glass roof piece up here, but now I've replaced it by those glass tiles from Island Living. And and I like that a lot better. And now I'm building the laundry room and the home gym area. There's also going to be a sauna over here and a couple of bathrooms and the butler's bedroom because I wanted the butler's room to be near the laundry. And pay no attention to this basketball hoop. It does not make it into the final build. I am so sorry. My chat was rooting for it too. I understand. But I promise you the gym and the sauna are enough, okay? I also put mirrors all around the gym and this handrail that came with get to work. And since I gave the wine room its own thermostat, I also gave the sauna its own thermostat too. It only felt right. And for a minute here, I kind of stopped and thought, huh, this room looks kind of empty. And then I realized that's kind of the point. Everything's supposed to be under decorated, right? Why am I complaining that the room looks kind of empty? It should look empty by design. And then I threw together the bathroom for the gym before moving on to the butler's room. Again, this is a pretty big bedroom, but it's not as big as the master, not even close. They have their own private bathroom, their own closet, and pool access right by the plane so they can prep it at a moment's notice. And even in the butler's bathroom, I still used that talking toilet, only the best for this house. And I don't really spend a lot of time on these bathrooms. They're pretty much just all carbon copies of each other. The only bathroom that was really different was the master. And then on the third floor, I completely redo the floor plan, and I decide to put a really big recreation room up here, as well as a guest bedroom with its own attached bathroom. And even in the guest room, we gotta keep with that black and white luxury theme. Grossly under decorated, but I must say, I do really like this swatch of this bed. I like that spiral bedspread a lot. It reminds me of the drum kit from The Sims 3. I think it was the late night expansion pack that the drum kit came with. I don't know, but I wish they had drum kits in The Sims 4. And I wish they had bands. I miss bands. I really hope they make a bands pack soon. And I feel like bands should be a game pack, but if they wanted to make it an expansion pack, if they combined it with the preteen life state, that would make sense and that would justify it being an expansion pack in my opinion at least. But anyway, we're just about done with this build. I'm putting on all the exterior lights and I even put a bunch of lights in the pool to kind of mimic what an airstrip would look like. It's silly, I know, but so is The Sims. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now and show you what this place looks like in live mode. Check me out on TikTok, Twitch, and Patreon. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.